Hi, I'm Kate Johnson from Heritage Business Services, and this is a quick video to teach you how to set your opening balance after you connect your bank account in FreshBooks. This is really important because this is going to allow you to be able to use the bank reconciliation feature, and it's also going to allow you to have the deposits in your bank account imported. If you don't do this, you will only see your expenses imported from your bank account. So inside your FreshBooks, you're going to come down here to the Accounting tab. If you already have a bank connected, uh, this is what it will look like, and you'll have set your opening balance. If you don't have a bank connected, you can go to the gear icon up here, and then go to Bank Connections and connect the bank account, and then you'll be able to begin this process. But this bank account is already connected, so we're going to set the opening balance. You click here and set your opening balance. Now, at this point, you have to have your bank statement information. It's important to note that you can't begin putting your opening balance in um, further back than the bank connection goes. And I forget how far back you're able to import. I think it's 90 days. It might be 60 days. Take the balance as of the date that you're using. At this point, I'm going to say we're going to skip this step. But we're not going to actually reconcile our account. This was just to let you know how to set that opening balance. And at this point, you should see your deposits come in. And why this is important is because not every deposit that you get will necessarily be associated with an invoice. Um, for instance, like if you have a, uh, an affiliate relationship with something, like maybe you have an Amazon affiliate account, you're just going to deposit that into your account. You're not going to send them an invoice. So you do need to have a way to figure out those, uh, how to get those deposits into your bookkeeping records. This is just a tiny, tiny step in the whole process of using the bank feed and the reconciliation process and making sure all your transactions are in there. And there's still lots of questions about what you'll do about the transactions that don't, that aren't imported. Um, so this is um, just a very basic, very basic video about using that opening balance um, feature and it has to be set to start getting your deposits included in your bank feed, which is um, critical. So there might be some mess to clean up, but at least you'll be in a good spot going forward. Please don't hesitate to reach out at all if you need help with your FreshBooks bookkeeping. Uh, you can reach me at heritagebusinessservices.com, and I'm happy to help, and I am happy to set up a free consultation.